Awakening Code Radio with Eric Rankin. Mind expanding talk and music every Tuesday night on KX 93.5. Manly Palmer Hall, a mystic who was born in 1901, um, has written 150 metaphysical books. There's people on the, on the show almost getting like, I need to see what his handwriting looked like because I'm writing his name and it looks different than my handwriting. So <laughs> is he visiting other people? He- <laughs> well, here's the amazing thing, Eric. Um, you know, when, we, when he came through to us, he made it very clear, you're not the only one that I'm visiting. Oh. Uh, you know, we are, uh, my, my agenda, he said very clearly, my agenda is to awaken the enlightened and allow enlightenment to take care of itself. Wow. That was the quote. And Let's say that again. To awaken the enlightened and allow enlightenment to take care of itself. I love and that, that. Makes, it makes perfect sense when you think about it. Those of us who may not even remember but have had significant past lives where we've delved into spirit, where we've made certain connections, certain spiritual lineage connections perhaps, uh, in past lives, or done the spiritual work, open the spiritual site. Um, these are the people that have maybe touched some form of enlightenment or have been able to communicate successfully with the other side in past lives. Well, what he's, what he's getting at here is that by awakening these people who already have some kind of connection, some innate in ab- ability, to awaken them, then allow a l- enlightenment to take care of itself on the planet. Basically, you awaken a few enlightened people and they help the healers heal and the healers help everyone else heal and everybody wakes up. That's a huge thing and I can see that that Colleen is back there making a graphic for this quote (laughs) (laughs) because it's powerful. That's really what, uh, and whether it's the 1111 Awakening Code page or anybody, people, you know, you want to wonder what is the process at work and how much personal investment do I have in it? Mm-hmm. And that's just a beautiful way of covering it is like right. you can be in the process, but let it flow as it's going to flow. Right. That there's, it, it allows you, there's an open door for you to gracefully remove your ego out of the picture and just let the information do what the information is going to do. Well, and then precisely removing the ego is vital yes. to all of this. Yeah. This is a vital to the coming age. Both the fear that you had as you, in your profession and in the aggrandizement. Like, woo, I, I could consider myself somebody really special. Yeah. Caught in both of those scenarios is an ego going, this is too weird, don't do it, people are going to mock you, or right. mm-hmm. this, you are going to be the next Messiah, right. you know, stand back as, as people bow down to you. Those, right. Both of those are ego voices. They are. So it sounds like you've gotten really good at, at just letting this, and that sounds like what that message is uh, that overriding message is do your part let it take care of itself so we are breaking down this a barrier and we are understanding this thought form energy or this thought energy that we are these chakras that's part of our identities almost contained in these seven primary chakras Absolutely. so that's a good I, th- I think that's a great broad overview to tell us when, when you say something is residing in your auric field that it's uh, there is uh, like we all have our story. I, I've gone to a, a similar church, and the pastor would just talk about we stand with our hands wiggling our fingers in front of us, and that's our story. It's just like, oh, I couldn't possibly be happy because I've got X, Y, Z going on, and you can't see through your own waving fingers. Right. You know, you're just so full of your own story of like, Precisely. oh, I've got this, and I was brought up that, and I don't have this, and I don't look like that, and blah 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 blah. And we can't move forward because we're carrying that story around. And it sounds like you might call that story sort of a thought form. Yeah, well, many thought forms. Or many thought forms. Really, it's all of the thought forms coming together to create your story. Right. And how many people have to remediate? Well, that depends on the person. It's completely unique. Um, But just to quickly get back to this idea of creation process so that we end up with the physical body. Uh, it's important to understand that as what what happens is a slow densification of this finer matter of spirit. As spirit becomes denser and denser, it takes it becomes one of these fields. So you have your outer spiritual fields. There's three of those spiritual fields. As you as they start to densify, you get to a a, a, a level which is called the etheric template. Barbara Brennan talks about this in the Healing Hands of Light mm-hmm, book. Right. And, and the, the etheric uh, template is actually the, uh, like the spiritual DNA that eventually culminates in the physical body. So there's a blueprint now 
for the for for creation of of your body, a blueprint. There's also a blueprint blueprint for your your life this time around, your karma, what you need to go through, what you need to learn, the lessons, and so forth. So there's there's your blueprint. Now that steps down into the heart level energy, and then from there, that's at the heart the the green or heart level energy. The steps down again, it gets slightly denser. It becomes the mental body, which is at your uh, egoic center at the uh, the solar, solar plexus. plexus. Mm -hmm. and now from here down, the lower centers, the mental center, the emotional center, which is at the power center at the second chakra at the navel, and the uh, coccyx center, which is the physical uh, twin or the uh, energy body of the of the physical body. All of these are part and parcel of our material world, our material, material experience, because we're not just bodies. We're thought, we're emotion, and we're action. And energy. And energy. <laughs> yeah, precisely. So all of, these, all of these things are part of the, um, of, the, of the material experience. So what we end up doing as we densify down into the physical body uh, with these lower three levels is we act we desire, and, uh, and we think. And these things become, uh, over time, uh, with repetitive thinking once again, or traumatic events, which focus the, cons the consciousness intensely into the moment, can create a thought form. So what's, what is a thought form? Well, a thought form basically is this crystallized energy. The mental body is what gives the thought form its structure. They, the emotional body is what gives the thought form its color, its tone, its density. And so as a, as a result, you can read a thought form, which can take on a symbolic, um, uh, a pr a pr a pr a present as a symbolic thing, something that's, that you could understand and see uh, in the in material world, say a pair of scissors or a pair of keys. Uh, they would have a, a specific meaning. Uh, but they all might also take on an amorphous type of structure that has no real meaning, but uh, but your your consciousness knows exactly what it means. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is to be able to go in and work with these thought forms to understand what created them, what put them there, when, so that we can now bring the wisdom of the and the the focus of the consciousness to this thought form. The minute your intensely powerful consciousness can see what's been hidden from you, see what's been unconscious, the consciousness knows exactly what to do with it, and it knows how to remove it. And we've just come up with a beautiful modality to make that, uh, to facilitate that. Awakening Code Radio is available on podcast. Visit www.kx935.com. Click podcast, then scroll to Awakening Code's previous shows.